everybody, Pelican Tacos here with uh, my level one account. Can you believe it? Level one. I'm getting close to 900. Record is 10, 16, something like that. And look at this dude. Level six. Level one taking on a level six. What do you think is going to happen? I know what's going to happen. You know what's going to happen if you could see. But here it is. Which going after a giant here? It is all about the mechanics of the game here, knowing which way troops are gonna roll, which how far their follow distance is, and everything, because you know what? I don't have a lot of power. This dude's got 600 HP more than I do on his side towers. I don't know about his main tower there. But for the most part, boom, there it is. If I can bring in the dragon and the prince together, that's a good powerhouse right there. Good strategy. For anybody to use if you got the prince and the dragon very very good gotta know how to distract these giants these giants are very very powerful and they will get uh, distracted by those tombstones very easily which is what I like I like having that tombstone there just for that effect so being able to draw the troops over to both buildings so that they can get hit by both of the fire is really really good as well so at this point I've got it in the bag he throws down a giant not sure why dude Wilmer, MG, no longer MG for me, man. There it is, sitting at 906. Can you believe that? 906 is where I am at a level one. Beating a level six is just awesome. I just love it. It's, it's so great. Now, this one, by far the best one ever. Oh, we have a level four, which level four for me, for the most part, is no big deal. He's at sitting at 850, and I'm currently at 906, which is just really, really nice to be in the 900s. I've been shooting for 900s for a long time. I think I got my groove with my troops that I'm using currently with the Prince and the Dragon. They just, they do so well together, and most of the time they don't know how to stop it at this low in the game. So just kind of picking apart and learning the psychology of the game and the people playing at this low level. So trying to figure out how to get higher. I would like to get to Pekka's Playhouse. That would ultimately be the, the best thing here. But uh, for the moment, trying this out. So this is by far the closest game that I've ever had. And you will just be blown away at how close this is. So, all right, we're just gonna play along a little bit. Just kill this prince off, no big deal. Prince and Pekka gone at the same time. That's just sweet, I love it. All right, giants have been causing me a lot of trouble. And I, I didn't have the tombstone available at this point. I used it on the other troops and so, um, getting the witch in there, her fireball, her flame, whatever blue flame that is, blue flaming, uh, is just so strong. So I really, really appreciate that. And fireball is gonna hit those goblins out of there. And, and now I'm gonna have a little bit of a push here. We'll see what happens, uh, but for the most part, you're getting up there with the witch. Come on, witch! And I'm gonna bring the prince on the other side, just because I think he's not gonna protect it as well. He's got his musketeer on the left side. He didn't have enough elixir to bring in the skeleton army quicker, and that saved my boot, hey! And we're gonna draw the skeleton army. Skeleton army, man, they move like a school of fish. They are very, very, distractible so is the pekka look at that i've got three left i have a mini pekka right outside my building with three hit points left i just i cannot believe how close that was <laughs> but here comes the prince and we're gonna distract it with the mini pekka right there in the middle and at this point uh, I, there wasn't really much i could do about that i could bring in the tombstone and it will distract me a little bit to get him up there but um Fireball on that building. I am one building to two. And at this point, I thought, what the crud am I going to do? And I knew it had to be on the right side with that bomb tower. There was only one way that I was going to finish this, and that was taking out his main tower at the top. So here I go. Got the witch. He's got the giant. So I don't have a tombstone at this moment. So I'm wondering, what on earth am I going to do? Um, I'm going to let the giant go because the giant's super slow. But the mini P.E.K.K.A., I cannot... I cannot, sorry for the bad quality, I cannot do anything about that. So what I'm gonna do is drop in my spear goblins, if you can tell what that green mass is on the screen there. <laughs> so those are spear goblins and a mini P.E.K.K.A. going after it. While I have a prince, a witch, and a dragon up top up there. 
Now watch this. I've got 1,700. He has 1,000. Down to 1,400 and 900. 1,100 and 800. 1,600. 800 and 500. Oh my goodness. And I'm throwing the fireball just because I can. Boom! Look at that. Oh my goodness. 24 health left on my building. His building is destroyed. I just beat this level 4 in the closest battle I have ever had. What on earth? Look at that. 24 health left. Unreal, unreal. So, cannot get any closer than that. I love it. Fighting as a level one is pretty fun. You should try it, see how high you can get. It just it adds some a little more challenge to the game. And if you have an extra device or so to throw around, then don't throw it around, but actually create a Clash Royale account on it. <laughs> see where you can get. Okay, I've gone up and I've gone down back at 904 here, and I have another victory against a level six that I just have to show you. It's pretty sweet. Level ones against level sixes. Just, there's no comparison at this point. He brings in an expo too. Like, that just freaks me out. Um, not really, actually, because I, I do pretty good with it. But at this point, expos, I know expos are a pain. I just, I really, really hate expos. I don't know about you but expos are very, very annoying and I share, I want to start the anti-expo campaign because they're just really, really, really annoying. But I'm not too worried about it because I've got the witch, I've got the prince on it and they can do a lot of damage to it and throwing those goblins across the, the river is a good help. And at this point, he left the game and I'm wondering, did I just make this dude really, really mad? Because you kind of wonder, you know, when you're when you're playing somebody, it's like, did I really just piss them off? Do they really just not want to play anymore because I, I did so well and I'm a level one? <laughs> I'm not really sure. Uh, he does eventually come back and the rest is history. But this is pretty funny how he's just like, eh, I'm done. I'm out of here. Actually, he's probably not. He probably got a phone call. You ever got a phone call and then roll your round and it's just really, really annoying? He's got 10 elixir hitting right now and yeah this is just so strange but there he goes he's back in the game he's gonna drop the witch and a balloon and i'm gonna distract that balloon as much as i can and let's see as he comes back it, it gets pretty grave because he took that building out in like no time and i'm kind of fearful Having this expo right there, nothing, nothing on the expo with that dragon so close. Here comes the prince. And what do we got? But that building isn't going down, folks. Two witches, two witches. And if I can distract everything else on the bottom, I have a giant and a P.E.K.K.A. A giant P.E.K.K.A. would be amazing, but a giant and a P.E.K.K.A. Kind of distractible with that tombstone, really, really good. And I will take it, folks, a win. Uh, a win is <laughs> a win, even though he got disconnected or whatever. So there it is, a couple level six wins against a level one. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say that's pretty sweet. All right, and I got one more level six win. Oh, this one's sweet. It's so nice to beat a level six. As you can see there, 933 is my highest at the moment. So we'll see how high we can get. But with this strategy, it's working so well. As long as I am not fighting too big guys with big experience here, they are coming along and they are kind of killing me sometimes. Look at this one. Boom, distracting this giant skeleton is my forte. Being able to keep that gigantic bomb out of the way. Look at this, witch not even affected by the bomb, which was very, very nice. And here she comes again on this giant. Giants and giants and giants. I've got to get past the giant there. I've got my witch, Pekka, and Prince. And they're going to cause a lot of damage because I'm going to get the dragon in there as well. And here, let's see what they can hit. Boom. No, another Prince. On Prince. On dragon. On witch. He's gone. All right, now, two witches. This is probably the best part of the whole thing is I've got two witches on the one building, and that's just sweet. It's not even like with a mirror or anything like that. But look at them. Flame! Blue flame and on! Looking sweet there, witches. Nice. 
All right, so if I can get that giant distracted, keep him out of the way, I've got 45 seconds in order to do this, and I will reach my high score. As you can see, my highest is 9 fed of 3. And down here, a little bit of a concern there with the giant and that prince. If we can distract the prince. The prince is so distractible too, so please, please, please distract those princes, distract those pekkas, even those giants and giant skeletons because they're just kind of a pain. Having something like the tombstone to bring them on over is really, really good. Well, they get hammered by all the rest of the towers. 10 seconds. Can we do it? I think we can. We got another prince. Oh no, distracting the prince. What are we going to be able to do? Yes, we are. Look at this. Another level six against level one victory. Not yet. About to be. <laughs> All right, got a minute of overtime. Now it's a matter of what side am I going to go on? What am I going to do? And if I can get my prince in there right on top of that building up there and I'm just kind of going to let that giant go for himself because there's not much I can do about it at this point but that prince and giant combo could be deadly but not for my prince and witch there folks there it is another level one versus level six victory going to pelican tacos too sweet all right well that is it for today Sitting at 9.33, I cannot believe I've gotten this high. 170 left to get up to Pekka's Playhouse. Yes, yes, yes. All right, like, subscribe, comment, do what you do to videos. Check out my other playlists and everything if you guys play any other games. But uh, click through to Minecraft. Go play some Minecraft with us. Or if you have Clash of Clans, still play that game. Got a Town Hall 9 account that I'm using Mooney in on. Trying to get some mass loot. Oh, check out some more Clash Royale videos. Got one of my main accounts moving into the Royal Arena. Trying to get the Dark Prince. I hope I get him. Click through there, guys. Pelican Taco is out.